black ball gown. It's Wednesday, that in-between day. I buy milk, bread, ham, enough for two, and a black ball gown. Black skirts billow swan feathers, a black swan. Rare sighting among old jumpers, reeds of widow's weeds in the second-hand clothes shop. Old shoes with loose tongues bring to mind gossiping women in Mr. Bohannon's. At least that's how the name sounded to a child, sorting through the rubble of others' leavings, searching out what was worth keeping, the way Mr. Bohannon must have sorted through the rubble of Europe. I want to bury my head in its folds, smell the smell of tall. I carry it back to the bedsit, beyond Leonard's corner. A stream of black flows through my arms, through the mouth of a paint-peeling door, number eight. Up the stairs and into the one room I share with my sister, where we sleep and cook and dream. The ceiling has a black disc of smoke. We burn so many meals, smoke so many cigarettes. My black ball gown hangs across the wardrobe for the whole of the year I stay in that flat. I am 18, not wanting to leave the nest of my Midland home. There is no work there, and besides I have learned to type and take shorthand. I walk to work each day down Clambrassel Street, down the diving dip at Christchurch, onto the quays. Screams of gall skims beneath black cloud balloons, bounce off Liffey waters. Summer smell of the river wending me towards Houston Station, to the typing pool, no place for swans. My black ball gown, how it lifts those black balloons, softens black discs on smoky ceilings. While my fingers stammer over the typewriter, strange Van Hool McCardle words, keeps its shape, is always exactly as I left it. Uh, I wrote that poem in 2006, and it was set in a time when I first came to Dublin to work in Houston Station as a shorthand typist. Um, that was 1976, and my sisters had all left the Midlands before me and paved the way, as it were, in Flatland. And when I came, the last of my sisters was still living in Number 8, Clumbrassel Street. And we shared a lot of adventures together. Um, went to Chivago's and the Iron, which is down the road as well. Um, but most of the memory I have concerning that time has to do with feeling lonely and uh, missing the Midlands, missing home. And the black ball gown that I bought that day in the second-hand shop, which is now gone from Clambrassel Street, um, seemed to encapsulate something otherworldly, something that uh, I could only aspire to as a young girl, not having much education at the time and coming to work as a shorthand typist. Um, that time we didn't have very big ambitions. So the, the black ball gown seemed to offer a, a glimpse of another world that was excluded from me. Um, so what else can I say about that time? It, it was a special time in that my sister and I um, actually lived together other than sisters, that we were uh, friends, I think, for the first time. And um, it, it, it really was a very special time. The Bohannon reference, uh, he was a man who had come from um, Germany and settled in the Midlands and had a second-hand shop in Burr, where I grew up. And that's the reference to him, the, the second-hand shop. And then Van Hool McCardle, um, when I was typing in Houston, I had to, to become familiar with all these um, new, the new lexicon of railways, which was kind of fascinating while being ultimately boring as well. But it did have a lovely ring, Van Hool McCardle. Mm -hmm.